yeah, I gotta get this thing changed. This thing has a has two holes in it, one right there and one right there. So yeah, I'm gonna go to AutoZone, get that joint changed. I got this hose from Bunny Mine, but this hose is a little too big. So yeah, I'm gonna go AutoZone, change that out real quick, throw it on. Gonna change that hoe. Literally. Ho. Alright, what's good my peoples? I'm over here at my house. Working on the G. I just wanted to work on the G a little bit before I head to the shop. Start doing body work on my car. My dogs are barking. So yeah, I had to change the hose because I kept leaking radiator fluid for some reason. And it was this hose the whole time in the bottom. And this is the only hose I didn't change when I got the car. I mean, when I got the motor, when I bought the motor, this is the only hose I did not change on it. Everything else was changed. So that's changed now. And right now I wanna try to get my, try to get the bearing off of this parts car. Try to take this thing off because the bearing on this one's uh, still good. I gotta take out four bolts. They're over there. I gotta take out four bolts on the back. And yeah, and then since I'm gonna have this thing off, I'm just gonna change the studs. Even though these studs are already pretty much new, but I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's pretty loose. Yeah, these are loose. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just pop them off and put some new ones on there because my bearing on my passenger side rear wheel um, are pretty bad. So. But I'm not gonna record that. Um, but uh, the next clip you see is pretty much me at the shop starting to do the body work on my SI. So I'll see you at the shop. This is a lot, of, this is way too many dents up in this joint. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to find another hood.
this out. Me and my father found more. Yeah, what do you think, Dad? She, uh, no bueno? New hood. New hood, yeah. Too many, too many little dents. You guys can't be able to see it, but me and my dad are so used to seeing, like, body work and hail damage and all that. And, yeah, I know on camera you guys can't see it, but, yeah, there's a lot. You can probably kind of see it right there in the camera. You won't see the little ones, but you'll kind of see them. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, it's just too much. So yeah, taking out on that.
All right, so I'm gonna check out how I'm gonna install this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wait I'm gonna put this thing on. Oh yeah. All right, let's get it. Ooh. So first, I gotta drop my exhaust. I'm just gonna bolt it, unbolt it up there, and then, well, this whole thing's bolted. So I gotta unbolt it from the top to take my, what do you call these? Oh man, I keep forgetting what to call everything. But all right, I'm gonna pull this thing off and then I'll get with you guys. All right, so I got my shift and linkage out, but I think what I have to do first is bolt this onto the car first and have this on. So I gotta check it out. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm checking this thing out. Uh, looks like I gotta take this cover apart and check it out because I have the bracket down there. You can see it sits on top of it. And that's how it pretty much sits. It's pretty dope. But I'm gonna take all this cover off right here and see what I'm about to get myself into. And there she is. So pretty much the bracket holds the shifter part and then you gotta connect this little piece down here that comes off the shifter to the linkage because you delete the the strut i forgot what it's called but it's pretty much the strut and second support for the shifter linkages but yeah pretty much you got this this thing feels so nice yeah this thing's sick so yeah i'm gonna put everything back together Ta -da! I'm gonna throw on my new headlights. I'm gonna throw on my new headlights. What's <laughs> up, boy? This thing looks so good with the new headlights. Oh, let me pull out this thing. Oh yeah. This is not my car, this is one of my customer cars. I'll always be painting, doing side jobs. But yeah. Then Doing quick little side jobs just to make some extra cash. Just to make some extra cash. So. Oh, man, it's dark. It's dark in here. But yeah, I came over here this morning to take this thing out so my customer can pick it up. They're taking this thing to H Day. Yeah, this thing was pretty bad. It was all beat up and stuff. Honestly, this is this car is also the reason why I haven't really made a video because I just dedicated working on this thing because this thing was pretty bad. There was rust everywhere because so, uh yeah. Oh. Anyways, that was weird as the neighbor's dog. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the paper, pull this car out, and I gotta move my car to where I let that drive warm up. So yeah.
this video is a little awkward and random so yeah but i'm gonna try to post more videos because uh honestly i didn't really post videos this past month or a couple of days it's because that the green hatch right there oh uh, i'm trying i was trying to get that thing done before H day so i can work on my car so i still have a couple of days to finish up my car i'm actually going to be taking my car to my other shop which i will show you uh honestly it's not, it's not really my shop i just work there it's my dad's and his partner shop and um yeah i just work there i'm i'm their painter and prepper and uh, we have our own prep guys and um our body man so um yeah i'm gonna be painting my car over there with a booth and everything so I'm excited on that. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is for real, like do just the body work and paint. The last body work I have to do is, uh, I gotta cover up two holes on the fender and then I gotta do the body work on the door. So yeah, and then I got me a, a better front bumper and yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, and I got these side skirts. I got these side skirts right here that I gotta mount on. So that's gonna be a little bit difficult. Before I even paint them, I'm gonna try to test fit them. So to make sure they fit 100%. I have made those type of side skirts fit on a coupe before, um, a long time ago. And um, and I ordered these and these are for a hatchback, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can still make a fit. I'm gonna just work my magic. So yeah, but I'm excited I got my car back. Uh, I took it to that one dude to do all the mechanical issues. He did a lot of stuff to it. So, um, I don't know. I don't remember what he did, but he did a lot of stuff to it. Um, right now, the only thing that's not working is just my VTEC. And I need to get an S300. So, but yeah. And the next car I'm going to work on that I'm actually going to show you guys is probably going to be this Toyota Supra. So yeah and that's not mine it's a customer's car but um i'm gonna show you like everything to do like body work prep and paint and most likely i'm gonna have my guy my body man keegan who works with us he he was helping me do the body work and rust repair on that green hatch so when he comes here i mean i'll see if he likes to be on camera but yeah um i'm gonna like pretty much like record him some stuff because i can do body work but i just don't like doing it and um, I mean, I don't mind giving him a little bit of side work too to help me do the body work and I just sand the whole thing and prep it and then paint it. So, and most likely I won't be the one painting it. My dad's gonna be the one painting it because that's his number one dream car. So yeah, but um, all right guys, I'm gonna head out and this is the end of this video. I'm sorry this video was a little bit weird and awkward and I haven't posted in a long time, but I'm back now and I should have more plenty of time. So I'll catch you.